Good morning, everyone. Um, my name's Roger Morrison from Morrison Architects. Uh, I want to talk today about um, the way we use um, Autodesk Revit uh, in our office. Um, we've had Revit now for about two and a half to three years, and um, we really like um, the way it works, and um, uh, it's really changed the way we do architecture. A number of ways we um, use Revit, um, existing as-built models, a lot of our work is alterations and additions, so we tend to um, build a full 3D model of the existing house rather than just doing a measured 2D drawings. Um, this allows us to fully edit um, the model uh, and show before and after views, etc. We also use, um, I'm going to talk about, uh, this morning about design options and how we use those. In Revit you have um, full design options that are in three dimensions so that you can show the client um, you know, different options and um, get them to choose which one they want. Um, also um, I'll be showing you how we pre uh, present some of our new designs, um, our use of Revit in commercial work. Um, I'll be talking about in-place families and I'll be showing you some of our smaller projects in Revit. I mean, we do work um, from multi-million dollar work right down to um, smaller projects, even bathrooms and garages and stuff like that. So um, Revit's useful in all those areas. Um, I'll also be showing you some of our presentation that we've done within the program um, without using external um, rendering programs. So we're using the in-house package. Um, We'll show you um, some of our building consent drawings and how we're using 3D a lot in that area as well now. Um, here's an example of a um, Revit model based on site measurements. You can see that um, this is a site plan showing um, basically a fully shaded view and some of our existing as-built drawings, 2D drawings, but we also do the 3D views as well, fully shaded elevations. Uh, and then we do sort of 3D cutaway views as well, and um, a various series of 3D views. This is another as built. We like to um, put in a lot of detail because what you put in, you get out at the other end, and we can take through that detail right through to building consent drawings and construction drawings. So it's very useful, even as the existing as built, because obviously some elements of that building remain in the final project. Also, the existing as built helps us in some before and after shots, so obviously we use that before and then after. Before and after. Really useful for the client to perceive what their building's going to look like prior to even proceeding with working drawings. Before, after. Now I'm going to talk about design options and how they're used. Design options are really um, useful in Revit. Um, we're most commonly used during the design process. Um, here's an example of, um, for instance, a pergola that we've shown in three dimensions as a design option so the client can see basically what they're looking at in terms of choices and selections. Um, we also use it in town planning analysis. Design options allow us to turn um, them on and off in different views. So for instance with town planning analysis we can show height in relation to boundary analysis. Here we actually have a physical plane following the contour of the, the side boundary and showing in three dimensions how it's cutting through the roof plane. Very useful and we can just turn it off in the view if need be. Um, but it really allows an accurate representation. And we also do a rolling height analysis where we actually copy the topography up whatever the maximum height is, in this case 8 metres, um, to show um, any non-compliance of roofs as they're cutting through the, um, the uh, topography plane that's been raised 8 metres. All this topography has been obtained generally by surveyors so it's um, usually 100% accurate. Um, very hard to contest um, by town planners, they like it and it's very clear and precise. We also use this method for any decks over a metre that counters coverage. We can raise the topography a metre and do it that way. 
Um, and we also can show with design options different wall cladding options and planting, etc. Uh, this is some of our new design work. This is a, um, an apartment building in Oraki in three dimensions. Some views, um, shaded elevations, obviously apartment floor plans. We do a lot of our work in colour. Um, we've done that for the last 12 years. All our plans are in colour, um, ease of communication. So Revit's really good like that. We can shade them and um, this is another house we designed uh, on the shore, looking back towards the city. And basically we've, in this case, we um, use Google Earth to get a 3D uh, or a, an aerial photograph image and we superimpose the building over the top of it. Um, shaded elevations, 3D views, and uh, so quick and easy to generate 3D views from straight out of Revit once you've created the model. Some more presentation views. Another house we've, that's actually currently being constructed in Whangaparoa. Again, this is an example of a commercial building. Um, this is an alteration, internal mostly, alteration to sanitarium and bar road where they're creating new office spaces out of the existing warehouse space and we were able to show um, almost like a fourth dimension of time in, in, in terms of staging of the project uh, in three dimensions. So we could actually show that this was stage one demolition, stage one construction, stage two demolition, stage two construction, all in three dimensions. So all of these um, stages can be translated into plans, elevations, sections, 3D views uh, automatically. Stage three construction. And then this is an example of um, deck structure in three dimensions, all modelled, fully engineered, showing how it's all put together. It's really, um, builders really like this sort of presentation. It really helps them to visualise how everything fits together.